our utmost to ensure that we can move towards peace in the country. Thank you, Mrs Bearder. One minute, please. After years of, author of authoritarian rule, hope rose for the election of a new president. But that has quickly evaporated, plunging the country into crisis. With runaway inflation, the final insult of high fuel prices was the final straw. Anger and anxiety has pushed protesters onto the streets. And their government's response? A legal crackdown on dissenting voices. Arrests, use of force, live ammunition, door-to-door -door searches, intimidation and harassment, internet scrambling, you name it. Zimbabweans and their human rights defenders have the courage to stand up to their government and we need to stand with them. Fleeing Zimbabweans must get the assistance they need in neighbouring countries to comply with international law. And to the UK, I say stop returning Zimbabweans till it's proved to be safe. We must encourage a peaceful, democratic national dialogue on an equal footing with civil society, religious leaders, opposition and government to find a better solution for Zimbabwe, a sustainable solution that ends this violence once and for all. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mrs. Bearder. Mrs. Verja, one minute. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Chairman. Robert. Mugabe's departure after 37 years of dictatorship in 2017 gave rise to a certain degree of hope. Unfortunately, the